wondered what the world will be like in 100 years. Will it be high tech with robots and machines everywhere? Or will it be dull, dark and polluted? That is the question that over the past few years, many experts have been trying to figure out the answer to. But so far, none have succeeded. This is because we are making the answer now as we live our lives. Most of you would have heard of the polar bears becoming more and more extinct because of the melting ice caps. But, and most of you would also have heard that that's only the tip of the environmental problem. But have you heard that by 2050, the sea level is set to risen by 30 centimetres? That's a big amount and could put coastal cities at risk of extreme flooding. And that by 2100, the sea level is set to have risen by 111 centimetres. That's almost as tall as me. <laughs> <laughs> and then it wouldn't just be some people's problem, that would be everyone's problem. Some people say that we, as an Earth, should spend less money on space travel and more on the environment. But I don't really agree. This is because some things that we can do to help the environment are completely free and are as simple as turning off a light or a tap, and they make a really big difference. Some people also say that living in the countryside is better for the environment than living in a city. But again, I don't fully agree. This is because if you factor in the amount of petrol needed to run the cars in the countryside, where everything is further apart and there is less tra public transport to get people around, it's equal, in my opinion, at least, to the fumes coming from a city where everything is closer together and there is more public transport. And that's why I'm not asking you to be perfect, because that would be impossible. Or to never use a single piece of plastic again in your life. But I'm just asking you to try, to try and save our one world. And although I don't know where we'll be in a hundred years, I hope it will be somewhere good. Because, as of yet, it's not the end of the world. Thank you.